when you guys hear the word artificial intelligence, what comes to mind? Headline screams dystopian, final invention, job stealing machines, movies like iRobots or Terminator, where Will Smith shoots the robots, pew, 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 shows that world. While even Wall-E, a DC movie, paints a world that was run by machines. But here's the truth. AI is not a monster. It's not here to replace us. It's not here to compete with us. But AI is a bridge humanity needs to become more human. Someone might ask me, Zane, how could AI possibly enhance human? All I heard was headlines saying that AI will replace jobs and strip away our humanness. And that's exactly the divide I want to explore today. Between fear and understandings, headlines and realities, humans and machines. I'm not just talking about AI from the sidelines. I work with it daily. And what I've seen is that AI isn't some abstract future concept, but it's actually practical, it's in our reach, and it's already embedded in our lives. Think about it. All you guys have a phone, right? Your phone lock screen, your predictive texts, or even music recommendations. These are all AI. You might not notice it, but it's slowly making your life smoother and easier, helping you making decisions faster and handling tasks for you. You use it, I also use it. AI is quietly helping us every day. And that space between fear and reality, that's wh where the most interesting works happen. It's where AI augments our lives rather than replace them, and where humans remain essential. At its core, AI is not magic. It's actually a food chain. AI is composed of algorithms. Algorithms need data, and data are fed by, guess what, human. We feed AI data, label it, guide it, and teach it our values. Without human, AI is nothing, right? Alexander Wang, my idol, once said, AI is a supercharger for humanity. And when AI is better than human, it makes human better. And this isn't just a quote. It's a principle that we see everywhere. AI is designed to augment human capability and not replace it. We are in control, and we actually decide what it learns, where it applies, and how it behaves. Does this sound familiar? It sounds just like parents, Asian parents, right? We as kids are put into Kumon, piano lessons, or even swimming lessons to make that Asian kid prodigy. And if we compare this to AI, it's just like how big tech companies rely on humans to train AI. So much that AI engineers, now one of the highest paid employees, and sometimes earning more than top athletes because their expertise ensures that AI will work properly. And AI is only powerful because human guided. It's practical, it's useful, and it's dependent on us, which is why it would never replace us. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. AI can do things that feels almost magical, but internal process, what's going on inside, is often opaque. And this is what we call the black box. Take CNN, or convolutional neural network, for example. They're used in Tesla cars. No, I'm not even driving. I'm just sitting, because it's autonomous. They're used to process visual data from cameras, sensors to drive autonomously. And we see the outcomes. The car stops at the red lights, avoid the, p the person crossing the road. But the layers of artificial neurons inside, or the brain of the car, detecting edges, combining features, are so complex that no human can fully trace the exact paths that make those decisions. It's like a room full of tiny experts, each making small judgments and passing them along. But the exact reasoning chain that goes behind it, it's beyond us. We might not fully know of that. 
yet we still rely on it because it works. And this mystery is inspiring, not scary, because we're the one who use and design the objectives, feed the data, and decide which outcomes are acceptable. AI is a tool, not a master. Experts like Aliezer Yogwolski warned that very powerful systems, if misaligned, could act in ways that humans do not intend. And that's why alignment matters. Designing, testing, and governing AI. But here's the key. This risk is why we govern AI. Not why we fear it replacing humanity. We add and not replace. By understanding AI limits and potentials, we see how human guidance remains essential. So, if they can do so much, what makes us uniquely human, you might ask? There are five key traits that AI can never replace. First, empathy. The ability to feel for someone else's joys or pain. Think about when you feel for the stranger. Those are empathy. Second, intuition. The gut feeling that tells you to do something or not to do something. Yeah, that's truly human. Third, imagination. Creating the ideas or art that never exist before. Those are the true things that brings innovation into this world. Fourth, conscious experience. The subject of what it's like to live your life. And fifth of a million more is authentic connection the bonds we form with friends, families, partners, or even a short one you form with a person sitting next to you. Think of why your friend cry, or when you feel sad for something because of a person. Those are the bonds you, got, you guys made. And AI can detect patterns, but it cannot feel. It can recommend a song, but it cannot understand truly what we're going in through inside or what we're feeling. It might only know that you're going through a heartbreak because you press on the same sad song on and on and on, but it will never know the full story. AI enhances human potential, but it cannot replace the heart that makes life rich. And this is exactly why AI is not our competitor, but our partner. This is where humans are essential. AI must be guided by humans' values in healthcare. AI might flex abnormalities in medical imaging, but human must interpret the results and does the care. By aligning AI with human values, we ensure that it is safe, it is fair, and it empower us. AI doesn't act autonomously, but it requires oversight, judgment, and guidance. It's a tool we control. And when we develop it responsibly, it enhances humanity instead of threatening it. In healthcare, AI can analyze blood tests or x-rays in seconds, flag hidden patterns, lessening human error. But the decisions, the conversations, the care, that's still human. Like the waiter nurse has to report to you that you have to go on a diet because you have pre-diabetes. Yeah, that's the care. And AI clears the path, and the doctors and patients walk in it together. In complex systems like the weather, AI parses oceans of data to detect early signs of storms or floods. But humans are the ones who set the thresholds, decide responses, and actually led the evacuation. AI is not something to be feared. It's actually a tool that can be understood, the one that can transform our life for the better. And it free us from repetition so that our ideas and creativity matters more. Some might worry about AGI, the kind of AI that could think and behave so generally like human. Could it surpass us in tasks and takes our job? No. But maybe in some ways, machines might be faster, more precise, more tireless. Yet then, AI isn't here to replace us. It's here to relieve us. 
it takes on repetitive, time-consuming parts of the work so that we can focus on what truly matters. Creativity, empathy, connection, and when guided by human values and purpose, AI becomes a tool that amplifies our abilities, not threat them. And if we look from it from another's perspective, it actually pushes us to grow. For example, coders or those computer science majors meme you see on the internet explore new programming frameworks. Teachers learn how to integrate AI tutors into lessons. Office workers streamline new workflows with automations. And accountants focus on higher level work rather than sitting in front of the Excels all day. And yeah, so no. AI doesn't take jobs away. It makes doing them easier and in many ways more human. Recently, OpenAI, or the company that owns ChatGPT, hired all 100 former investment bankers from firms like JP Morgan Chase or um, Morgan Stanley for a project code name, Project Mercury, to teach its AI how to build financial models and handle works traditionally done by junior bankers or those entry-level jobs. And this is actually a strong signal that this isn't about replacing human. It's about reimagining the human and machine team. First few steps that AI take on repetitive modeling works. And one of the most practical way that AI empower humans is by handling repetitive high volume work. Tasks such as analyzing large data sets or going through many, many medical images. Those are the high volume works. You might not notice it, but actually many of your work are those type of work. Even sorting information can be complete by AI faster than human. And this actually free us to do things that goes beyond those hard works, which is to focus on creative, meaningful, and high level work, as well as problem solving, idea generation, those that brings these speeches into the world, and empathic tasks that machines cannot replicate. AI doesn't replace humans. It amplifies our efficiency and potential, giving us mental space to think deeply and ma act meaningfully. So AI is neither a monster nor a thing that should be feared. By recognizing differences and complementaries between humans and machines, we can, we can bridge the divide and unlock its full potential to make human better. AI empower us to focus solely on what is uniquely human, our strength, creativity, empathy, and judgment, while they handle the repetitive tasks. As a closing thought, because when AI gets better, it doesn't make us less human, it makes us better. And remember, AI is a bridge humanity needs to be more human.